Hey, what's up guys? This is a quick tip of the week, and this week I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Spherize tool. Let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here, and welcome back to Quick Tip of the Week. This week, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Spherize tool. Now, I'm sorry I've been gone for quite a while, actually. I'm in this new course called IB, and with this course comes a lot of work. So I have honestly had no time at all. It's just nonstop work, but I finally had some time. I found some time, made some time. Um, so I decided I can start getting back into this now because I have found a, an area where I can just do this, which is what I really like to do. I can just start doing this again. So I'm going to start doing this again, I'm going to start doing this regularly, and I'm going to be able to do it at least once, more, probably even twice a week, because I've found time, I've made time, and I can start doing this, alright? So enough of that, let's get straight into it. So the Spherize tool is a very interesting tool, it's very, it's very unique, you can use it in uh, manipulations and everything, but it's mainly specifically used for a certain type of picture, okay? But of course you can use it for anything else, but this is what I, I use it for. So this is a picture of say a Formula One car, and you can see the entire background here is very blurred out and very stretched, okay? Uh, sorry about that. Um, but, oh, sorry about that. Okay, so it's very, uh, it's very stretched and it's very blurred out and it's, it's very, it's very cool looking, you know? It's very, you can do many different things with this. So I decided to look into it to see what I could do, to see the different kind of things that I could start you know, creating this with. So I have basically decided to find a picture that fits the, you know, the usual background that, that's in here. And I decided to try and make it, you know, similar. Um, I'm just going to show you how to stretch it out for now. Um, because the blurring is something that I, I really like to do very, very precisely, alright? So if I don't get the right blur that I like, then I won't do it. So this is what I've done. I have taken just a regular picture, and I've done a few ways I found and then I found one way so what the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're just gonna do control and then J and now make sure that you have the first layer hidden okay so then you're just gonna select the second layer and then you're going to do filter you're gonna go to uh, distort and you're gonna go to spherize okay now you should get this little menu now depending on how you want it to look like for right now, what we want it to do is we want it to be stretched looking, okay? So you can see that's going to be stretched looking. If you put it to 100%, uh, it'll look very ball-like. It'll look just pretty much like this. But right now, we want to do it where it's minus 100%, or as far as you want it to go to make it look as, to make it fit with the picture that you have, because each picture is different, yeah? Okay, so that's all we're going to do for that. And then it should look like this. Now you can see that it is already stretched. It's already exactly how it should be but then you can see these little lines down here that's very annoying and very yeah i just don't like it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this layer right here and we're gonna drop it down behind the layer that we just edited okay so we're gonna make sure that we select the layer that we just edited and we're gonna go to the eraser tool now make sure that you have a decently sized brush i'm taking quite a big brush and then i'm gonna make sure that the hardness is at zero Okay, so then you're going to go around the edge very softly until that little annoying, the little annoying, um, I don't even know how to describe it, that little annoying effect is gone. So it just looks perfect basically. Now here you can do anything you want, so what I'm going to do is actually just uh, merge these layers and then this is where you can start getting into the blur. Uh, I'll probably make another tutorial on how to blur things because sometimes it could be really tricky and sometimes it could be very difficult to figure out how to do. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave it in the comments below or if you don't even want to let anyone else see, just, you know, private message me. I've gotten a few requests in the, in the uh, time period that I've been away. So I'm going to be starting making those. I'm going to be fulfilling those. And of course, like I always say, I never deny a request for a tutorial. Alright guys, so if you want to learn more about Photoshop, then please do subscribe guys. Thanks, and I'll see you later.